Mrs. White, faculty, guests, and students, it is my privilege as president of the Paul R. Ramey chapter of the National Honor Society to welcome you to the 2022 Fall Induction Ceremony, where we will be recognizing some of our school's most exceptional students. Thank you for joining us today. Please join me in welcoming our 2022-2023 inductees. Good morning. If you are not already, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance Perfect right to perpetual stability 
the structure of our education must also be held firm and true to the purposes of life by the virtues represented in this symbol. The flaming torch embodies the intentions of our organization, which are to carry forward the searching light of truth, to lead so that others will follow the light, and keep in our school the high ambition for the lasting value of life and to serve the consideration of others. It is at this time that we proclaim to all in attendance that membership in the Paul R. Rainey chapter of the National Honor Society has been earned by the candidates before you through the effective demonstration of the four qualities that serve as standards for the society. Members of the chapter will now review these qualities for the candidates. We begin with character. Character is the sum of your morals, values, and ethics that makes you the individual that you are. Your character is influenced by your experiences and helps you guide you through life. Every day, your character is displayed in your actions and the choices you make. It is seen in the respect you have for yourself and the respect others give to you. Measures of your character lie in qualities such as responsibility, trustworthiness, caring, and self-control. Being a member of NHS gives you the opportunity to model quality character and to be a positive influence on the character of others. In the words of Grenville Clayster, by constant self-discipline and self-control, you can develop greatness of character. We now light the candle of character. Scholarship comes from a passion for knowledge, knowledge to understand, to solve, to create. We gain knowledge through learning experiences both in and out of the classroom. <clears throat> Scholars look for opportunities to learn. We know that learning takes effort and that understanding and judgment are rooted in knowledge. Being an NHS member strengthens your commitment. In words of an American poet, James Russell, True scholarship consists in knowing not what things again exist, but what they mean. It is not memory, but judgment. Now we will light this candle of scholarship. Leadership is your ability to communicate in ways that influence and inspire others to act. It is not exclusive or inherent to through election or designation. Leadership is setting the example in your words and deeds to motivate others to follow. It is about engaging people while guiding their direction towards the common goal. Effective leadership happens when you begin to know yourself as a leader and you possess the essential skills necessary to lead. National Honor Society members are leaders in and out of the classroom. Robin S. Sharma was once quoted saying, Leadership isn't about a title or a designation. It's about impact, influence, and inspiration. We now light the candle of leadership. <coughs> Service can be defined as the act of voluntarily giving your time and using your skills and talents for the benefit of the community. Everyday service is seeking out and engaging in meaningful service. It calls for a service mindset, the desire to seek opportunities to help others, as well as acts of service. Through our service efforts as individuals or as a group, we build empathy as we learn more about those in need of crisis. <coughs> service also fulfills one of our responsibilities as citizens. As a National Honor Society member, you will be presented with opportunities to deepen your understanding of servant leadership and to grow your passion for helping others. Audrey Hepburn once said, You have two hands, one to help yourself and a second to help others. We now light the candle of service. This year's group of 27 new inductees is the largest in recent history. Their combined grade point average is 3.944. Together, they have taken over 275 <coughs> honors or college-level courses. They have earned countless awards in the categories of 
academics, athletics, character, attendance, and Tampa Bay and agriculture. They are leaders as team captains on junior fair board and in their 4-H clubs, within their places of worship and faith, as class officers and student council members, within the Hope Squad, as mentors for elementary students, within the GHS band, at summer camps, and many as role models for youth within their families and our community. They have shown compassion by volunteering for over 300 service hours. Most of them have had part-time jobs in retail, restaurants, outside doing hard labor, lifeguarding, providing childcare, among other things. We have students who are beekeepers, involved in theater, show horses, competitively dance, and are active in youth groups. Oof. I guess by now you figure that this is quite a well-rounded and just downright awesome group of students. We look forward to all that they will accomplish and how well they will represent our chapter, school, and community in the future. I am Mrs. Nina White, principal of Georgetown Elementary School, and I have the great honor of announcing this year's new inductee. As previously mentioned, each inductee had to receive a minimum of seven evaluations to be considered for membership. As they come up to receive their certificate, we'd also like to take a moment to acknowledge a wonderful remark that this student received from one of their evaluators. Will the first row please stand? <coughs> Caroline Aubrey. Caroline's work ethic, positive attitude, and willingness to help others would make her an exemplary member of the National Honor Society. <coughs> Nina Baker. Nina is extremely bright, but also the grit and resilience she has shown is extraordinary. She is also a wonderful human being. Emily Bertram. Emily is an exemplary student who contributes to a wonderful classroom environment due to her hardworking and positive attitude. Riley Bertram. Riley understands the meaning of working independently, but also as a team. She is a leader and continues to carry herself with dignity. Megan Brannon. Megan is a great young lady. She is very kind, giving, and always willing to do her best with any situation. She leads by example. Dylan Bruin. I've witnessed Dylan conquer challenges, welcoming each new experience as a chance to grow and learn. He is very motivated, resourceful, and very responsible. He always does the best he can do and is willing to learn. Evelyn Cahal. I feel so strongly about Evelyn's character, leadership, work ethic, and academia, and I believe that she is an asset to our school. Ethan Dunning. Ethan is always willing to work extra and help others. He is a great young man, and I love his personality and work ethic. Trevor Ellis. Trevor is a person that others gravitate toward because of his kind and caring nature. He was always a very conscientious student and gave his best effort in class. His patience and kindness are his best attributes. Will the second row please stand? Tyson Ellis. Tyson is a great student athlete who is willing to do anything for anyone. He is willing to put others before himself. Tyson is an asset to GHS in and out of the classroom. Caroline Ernst. 
Carolyn is a fantastic person who leads with honesty, kindness, and consideration for both her peers and her teachers. Not only is she motivated to put forth her best effort, but she also strives to make those around her better. Jacob Fine. Jacob has grown tremendously over the past few years. He is a top-notch student and puts forth great effort into the things he does. Jayla Galley. Jayla is a positive person who encourages her peers. She is good at listening, communicating with her peer group, and often plugs herself into opportunities to serve. Eli Hatton. Eli has always been a wonderful and kind person. He gives his best effort and is always willing to work with and help others. Kaylee Hebling. Kaylee is a great kid, great student, and wonderful teammate. She is a joy to be around and a blessing in my class. Madeline Hudson. Maddie is a hard worker and is always willing to step in, even when the task is mundane or difficult. Maddie serves as a wonderful role model for her younger members and raises the bar for her peers. Heather King. Heather is a stellar example of what a young person with a servant's heart should be. I've been impressed by her work ethic and her willingness to help others at work and within the community. Gideon Klump. I can't say enough about how high of a regard that I have for Gideon. He is steady, calm-natured, and empathetic to a fault. But that, along with his great effort that he gives all of his work, make him more than deserving of this honor. For the third row, please stand. <coughs> Allison Kratzer. Allison has a sweet, witty, and kind personality. She is not afraid to get in there and do the hard work. When she finishes her task, off, she off, Rebecca Van Ham. Rebecca is a great kid and a great leader. She was a joy to have in class and will be a great addition to the National Honor Society. Lainey Knopfsinger. Lainey is a fantastic student. She works hard to get her assignments completed and always puts forth full and maximum effort 
for whatever is asked of her. She is always kind to everyone and often reaches out and helps others. Jude Pepper. Jude is a fantastic student who brings a positive energy into the classroom. He is honest, hardworking, and goal-oriented. You can always depend on Jude to bring an element of humor into the classroom while being respectful. Peyton Shepard. Peyton is always so polite and goes out of her way to make an effort. She is a hard worker and is not scared to try new things. Logan Vinson. Coaching Logan was an absolute privilege. He has continued on the trend of being a great young man with positive character and leadership. He has led by example for others and did what was asked of him with 100% effort. Thank you very much. Thank you everyone for coming.